had some back then, but I decided to do another video this morning abandoned locations. And uh, I had so much fun doing the one the other day, and it's pretty nice out today, minus all the wind. It's probably going to be bad for audio, so I decided to uh, take a look at another abandoned location I knew of. This one isn't in a house or anything. It's a uh, abandoned cemetery uh, graveyard. Well, it's partially abandoned. There's one side that's still used, but no one's been buried up here for a while, so it's basically abandoned. So we'll go around and look at some of the old graves they have up here. You can tell some of these graves are pretty old looking right here. Like this one right here. Let's zoom out on that. I don't know if you can see the date on the camera, but it says 1874. So that's a pretty old grave. Another one right over there. Don't know how old that one is. It's all pretty sure it's pretty old though. Here's another one. Born 1844, died 1892. It's got some type of quote there on the bottom, but I can't read it. Some of these graves are really old. You can't really read them because of all the weathering. And it looks like it says 1874 also. So all these are from the 1800s. Here's another one over here. That one doesn't have a death date on it or anything. It just says Thomas J. Taylor, CO.K, 17th Indiana, INF. I don't know if that's like a, I think that might be a police grave or something. Dude, dude it's got like the police badge. Uh, outline on it, so that might he might have been a police officer and was killed in action or something. But uh, your guess is as good as mine. Here's one you can not even see nothing on it. Maybe it's on the other side. Uh, there you go. But you can't see nothing on it because of all the weathering and stuff like that. <sighs> Here's a recently new looking one. Huh. Look at that. Lavina E. Avery, wife of George W., 1853 to 1881. And it's got um, her child down here, I guess. Heaven son of uh, Lavina E. and George W. Died 1880, age six months. That's pretty sad. Here's one that's somewhat new. So it's still got some dirt. Someone must have came by and like fixed it up. It's got a mason symbol on it. Right there's the three ma Freemason symbol. Chest Wood, uh, November 14th, 1847, died March 8th, 1900. Huh. Here's another one. But yeah, I'm not going to go through every grave and let you read them off. I'm just showing you some of the most interesting ones. Again, you can barely see these because of all the... That's a nice one, but the, all the weathering and erosion. Here's a really big one. This horse must have been pretty rich. Um, born 1907. Wait, no, 1807. No, <laughs> 1867. There we go. 18, born 1867, died 1900. So I say 1807. We're like 107 years old then. Um, it doesn't have a born day, but it says they died. Uh, 1894, age 52 years. So I'll leave you to do the math. But unfortunately, some of these graves were destroyed. I don't know if it was due to weather or some punk kids coming by and uh, vandalizing them, which is just extremely disrespectful and terrible thing to do. I don't know why people do that. Here's a fancy one. They died pretty young, 1855, 1859. Must have been a child. 1860 to 1862. But these are really cool. It tells you a little bit of uh, history about where I live, how old um, the town is. Greenville, Indiana is part of Floyd County and 
Floyd County has been around since the beginning of Indiana. There's another Mason. See, you can see the symbol right there. You can't, can't really read it. Looks like they died 1883, born 1830. Here's a grave someone knocked down. Yeah, why people do that, I have no idea. I'm actually gonna I'll put, put this up. If I can. No, it's too heavy for me. Why people vandalize graves, I have no idea. These people are extremely disrespectful. Here's another one. Can't make it out and it looks like it says died 1847. It doesn't have a, a death date though. But again, some of these are from the 1900s, but most of these are from the late 1800s. This one might be a family thing. These are all right in a row. No one get that person's house in shock. That would be very bad. But uh, right there. Again, that might be a family uh, grave or something. Here's a really cool one over here. Again, it's really windy out today, so I don't know how bad this is going to be for audio. Uh, this one's really interesting. It's a tree log. It must have been like, I don't want to sound stereotypical or anything, but it might have been a pagan or something. Uh, G.E. Johnson, July 29th, 1854, October 29th, 1897. So he died, uh... I have no idea when would that be, July, August, October. Dead around four months after his birthday. Died a day before Halloween, two days before Halloween, I should say. But again, pretty cool little abandoned cemetery. Well, partially abandoned, I should say, because some of it's still used. But again, here's a couple more old looking graves. There's one right there all by itself. Go kind of check that one out. <sighs> died 1887. Does not have. Oh, no, never mind. Born and died 1887. This was a child. Died during birth. Especially since the 1800s, there was poor medicine. So that makes sense that he died. It's sad though. I forgot to experience life. I'm gonna go over here. This is where they check out everything. What they yeah, here's where they keep all the graves uh, maintained and stuff. But again, pretty cool little old abandoned cemetery graveyard. I just had to do this since. Again, I'm starting up that new series of abandoned houses and places. All the summer, I'm going to go visit abandoned places like this, like cemeteries, uh, houses, stores. There's even an abandoned drive-in, which I really want to check out. So, yeah. Again, that's uh, that's all I'll do for this video. Give you one last like one of these really huge graves. But, uh... Yeah, that's basically it. Just a really nice day out. Decided to, you know, get out of the house, go explore some uh, abandoned sites. Dogs barking over me, so I'm gonna get out of here again. Don't wanna look like I'm a vandal or anything, so I'm not. Hey, go back. Sorry, hey, go back. Get back over there. Hey. Dogs following. Me. Don't want them to get hit or anything. Sorry. It's all right. But yeah, it's Mr. Roy. The same for this video. So, um, like I said, I'm gonna probably do a few more this summer. There you go. But um, I think the dogs following me. But uh. That's basically it. All I have to say for this video. But again, this summer, there's tons more in store. I'll probably be doing these over the weekend mainly. 
but I'll probably be doing a lot of this during the summer. This is a lot of cool, lots of abandoned places out here. There's also a water tower over there beyond the tree line. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to climb that, explore that. So, yeah. So this is uh, Kevin Holder. Should I get my last name? Fuck. This is Kevin from Mr. Watchman Fan's channel saying thanks for watching. And uh, remember, like, comment, subscribe, all that, and uh, have a good day.